Hi everybody, I thought I'd come out with this video. It's entitled the Revelation 15 sign, not 12, but the great and marvelous sign mentioned in Revelation 15 verses 1 and 2. This is the sign of the prelude to the seven bowls of wrath. I know many of you believe that you will not be here. You'll already be raptured, and that may well be the case. Uh, but m many of us also have family members, uh, friends, and co-workers that may be left behind or will need to know what this sign is to look for. Just like we had the Tetrad blood moons of 2014 and 2015. But more biblically, the Revelation 12 sign, which I'll go through briefly in this presentation, uh, just as a refresher or for those who are completely unaware of it. And, uh, and we know that was a time marker or time stamp, as you will, back in September of 2017. And it had a prelude to it, which was the first U.S. Great American Solar Eclipse 40 days prior to that sign. And in this case, there's nothing new under the sun. So with that, I'll, uh, without further ado, I'll go into the video. And um, like I said, please share this with others um, as it may be something that they need to be aware of or even if you're interested in this information for yourself. So with that, I'll go on with the presentation. So I'll start with Psalms 19, verse 1, which says in the NIV, The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. So you might be asking, why should I be looking at the stars? Isn't that astrology? And the answer to that is no. There's a big difference between astrology and and divine astronomy, looking at the heavens. You know, there are Bible passages that says, for example, look up for your redemption draweth nigh. Uh, how would you know if you didn't look up into the heavens? And also the Magi, the three wise men with the first coming of Christ, and I think this will be applicable as well with the second coming of Christ, and um, that they saw the star of Bethlehem and they knew the timing of Christ's first coming. So we likewise will also see the sign of his second coming. And I'm also saying this is more than likely will be for those who, uh, in which the rapture has already occurred uh, maybe not, maybe so, as well as for those who know for surety of the second coming of Christ. So this applies either way. And also, in Genesis 1, verse 14, it says, Then God said, quote, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens, to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and seasons and for days and years. And you'll notice the first listed is for signs. And then it goes on to say for seasons and for days and for years. So it is also firstly for signs. So in essence, heavenly signs serve as the perfect revelation of the Lord, which is actually what the book of Revelation means. It means the revealing of Christ, Jesus Christ. 
and they serve as time markers as well as for warnings. So like it says in Genesis 1.14, heavenly signs, and this includes solar and lunar eclipses, in particular total solar eclipses, which mostly pertain to the United States, uh, or the Gentile nations and total lunar eclipses, which mostly pertain to Israel. But back in August 21st, 2017, we had a total solar eclipse called the Great American Solar Eclipse, which traversed across the entirety of the United States, going from Oregon and exiting in uh, South Carolina. Well, we have the second one, and many of you are aware of this, that will occur on April 8th of 2024, next year, around this time, which goes up starting through Mexico, goes through Texas, and then exits through Maine. Um, so it essentially forms an X across the United States. So I think many of you can discern that this is probably a sign of the United States being crossed out. As you see, uh, the things that are transpiring within the world itself and also within the United States, you can see that a lot of things are going in a very dark and precarious direction. And so this video is made on May 1st of 2023. So at the time of 2017, there wasn't quite the uh, on slew of things that are going on. Uh, there were some, but not as much as what is currently occurring in the United States. And this second total solar eclipse is just a year away. So that is something to be mindful of. However, for both total solar eclipses, I believe they were the sign of Jonah. And yes, there's multiple signs of Jonah. Christ uh, spent three days and three nights in the belly of the earth. After his crucifixion, Jonah was in the well, uh, belly of the whale for three days and three nights. But the reason that Jonah was actually in the belly of the whale is that the Lord had told him to warn the city of Nineveh, and I'll go through this in the Bible passage, to give them 40 days warning before the destruction of Nineveh to have the people repent or he would destroy their city and them as well. So as with the first total solar eclipse, it was actually 40 days prior to the Revelation 12 sign. So the first total, total solar eclipse was on August 21st, 2017, 40 days later, was September 23rd, 2017. And that's when the Revelation 12 sign occurred. And likewise, like I said, there's nothing new under the sun per Ecclesiastes. I, uh, I don't remember the particular verse, uh, but I think it's in chapter 4, verse 12. There's the second total solar eclipse which makes the X across the United States that is upcoming next year, April 8th, 2024, as I stated. And 40 days after that is May 18th, 2024. And that's when the Revelation 15 sign occurs. So in Jonah chapter 3, Jonah preaches to Nineveh in verse 4. Yet 40 days and Nineveh shall be overthrown or destroyed. So I'm not going to read all of this, but please go back and read the entirety of chapter 3. 
and highlight it here. The people of Nineveh believe. So in verse 5, so the people of Nineveh believed God. They proclaimed a fast, put on sackcloth from the greatest to the least of them, including the king of Nineveh. At the conclusion of chapter 3, verse 10, it says, Then God saw their works, that they turned from their evil ways, and God relented from the disaster that he said he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. So the people of Nineveh repented. After the 40 days, they went into a fast. They repented of their evil ways. They turned from it. And God stayed his hand and relented and did not destroy Nineveh. However, I believe in our situation uh, with the ex across the United States that we will be judged to the point of destruction. And I mean the United States, especially with the X across it, as I just stated, that we will not do like Nineveh, but will instead suffer the destruction of the United States and the fall of Babylon. So 40 days after the first total solar eclipse that traversed across the United States, which occurred again, that was on August 21st, 2017. 40 days later was September 23rd, 2017. And that was the Revelation 12 sign that occurred in the heavens. So I'll read the Bible passage and we'll come back to this heavenly sign. So there are three heavenly signs that are mentioned in the book of Revelation. And again, that means the revealing of Christ. So in chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, that is the one I'm going to go through, which occurred on September 23rd, 2017, like I said. Then in verses 3 and 4, another heavenly sign appeared, and that's the one of a great fiery red dragon. And then the one in Revelation 15, verses 1 and 2. That is the great and marvelous sign. But here in verses, uh, chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, it says, Now a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a garland of twelve stars. Then being with child, she cried out in labor, in pain to give birth. The fiery red dragon sign, which I think occurred October 7th, 2017, which was the Draconet meteor shower. So I'll just read that here, verses 3 and 4. And another sign appeared in heaven. Behold, a great fiery red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven diadems on his head. His tail drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth to devour her child as soon as it was born. But let me cover first the great sign that appeared in heaven, the Revelation 12 sign as it's known. Many of you are familiar with this. But for those who aren't, so I'll go through verses 1 and 2. So this was the Revelation 12 sign that occurred September 23rd, 2017. And they actually determined that it was a once in a 7,000 year sign going forwards and backwards in time. So it covers the full 6,000 years of man. So... Revelation 12, verses 1 to 2, it says, And there appeared a great wonder, or a great sign in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun. So that's the constellation of Virgo being the woman, and she was clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet. So at the her feet was the moon, and upon her head, a crown of 12 stars. 
So above our head, there was 12 stars. So there was the nine stars that forms the constellation of Leo. And then the planets Venus, Mars, and Mercury, also known as wandering stars, were in alignment. So forming 12 stars above her head. And she being with child, cried travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. So in the wound region of Virgo, the constellation of Virgo, the planet Jupiter, which is the man child, was in her wound region for 42 weeks and went in retrograde motion. And after the 42 weeks or nine months, it exited her wound region. So instead, God gives ample warning before he brings judgment on a nation or the nations. And so this is serving as our six-year warning of the time period in which this sign occurred in which we believe right now that the fall of 2023 will be the onset of judgment upon the United States as we are starting to see already, as well as upon the world. So as with the first solar eclipse and the 40 day warning before the Revelation 12 sign, I believe once again, after 40 days after the second total solar eclipse that X's out the United States, which occurs on April 8th, 2024 again, 40 days later is May 18th of 2024, the Revelation 15 sign. So what is the Revelation 15 sign? So it's here stated in chapter 15 of Revelation verses one to two, and it is the prelude to the bold judgments or the vials. Then I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels, the sun plus six planets, I'm including, having the seven last plagues, for in them the wrath of God is complete. Verse 2, then I saw something like a sea of glass mingled with fire, and I believe this is the comet Enki, and those who have victory over the beast and his image and over the mark and over the number of his name standing on the sea of glass having harps of God so before you check out of this video and click off of it saying I won't be here anyways to see this you might have family members friends and co-workers and others whom you care about who will need to know this information and be made aware of it thus me leaving behind this legacy video for those individuals most of us know someone in our family or a circle of friends who might fall into this category so so again 40 days after the second total solar eclipse that traverses across the United States. 40 days later is May 18th, 2024. Here is the sign in the heavens. You have this lineup. You have a, the sun and Jupiter conjunction in Taurus. And there's a Venus Uranus conjunction also in the sign of Taurus. You have Mercury just within Pisces, Mars, Saturn, and then trailing at the very end of it in Aquarius is the comet Enki. So I believe this is the sea of glass, Aquarius representing the water being poured out and it being a water sign as well. So you have the seven planetary and the sun line up with the sun Jupiter, Venus, Uranus, there's four, five, six, seven. And then on the sea of glass, which is mingled with fire, is the comet 
and key, which is at the end of this seven planetary and sun lineup. So not only do we have two conjunctions, the sun and Jupiter plus Venus and Uranus, which means heaven, uh, conjunction in Taurus, which is judgment. Uh, we also have the others, but you'll say, well, those are not angels, but in Revelation chapter one, verse 20, it says that the seven stars that you see in the right hand of God are the seven angels. So stars and our sun is a star and the planets are angels. And then the comment Anki, which is 2P Anki over here, is at the end of the lineup, which is the sea of glass mixed with fire. And here's a photo of the comet Anki. And it does, in fact, look like a sea of glass mixed with fire. So you might be saying, so what's so great about the planetary lineup? We've had planetary lineups before, uh, maybe not with as many planets, at least with five, some a little bit higher. But in the book of Job 9.9, 9, uh, the only three, only three constellations that is mentioned by God is it says here, who maketh Octurus, which is the bear, Orion, which is the, the belt of Orion, and many translations have the Pleiades, but in older versions of the Bible in the Vulgate, in the Wycliffe Bible of 1395, they use the Hyades, which is the Hyades cluster in Taurus. Again, those signs are primarily in Taurus, which is judgment. So, so near the Pleiades in Taurus, in other words, the, uh, the head of the bull is the Hyades star cluster, and it's a formation of five primary stars. And here's a close-up of in the heavens of the Hyades star cluster with the five primary stars, again, being the head of the bull in Taurus. So what makes this sign so great and marvelous and be mindful that the heavens are a mirror image. So this is why the lettering is backwards. Here's the five stars of the Hyades cluster. And Aldebaran is a red star, which is makes up one of the eyes of the bull. If you have a top view of the heavens, here's how the formation of the planets are on May 18th. 2024 it forms the five planets of course mercury is a little skewed, skewed inwards but on the outside Aldebaran which is a red star you have Mars and you have the fly five planets lined up and this is a top view of the solar system on May 18th of 2024 I'm not debating the flat earth theory, but we still have the planets in the sun nonetheless. And this is the lineup in the heavens. And if you do an overlay of the Hyades cluster, which is the center portion, the head of the bull and the red eye of the bull, you get this basic, you get exactly the same geometry essentially of a top-down view of the heavens. Furthermore, with the two conjunctions in Taurus, the Sun and Jupiter and Uranus and Venus conjunction pointing to the Pleiades, making this V shape a little bit longer on the right side of the leg, you end up with the same when you go from the Sun to the Earth over to Mars, it forms the same V-shaped configuration looking from a top-down perspective. And finally, going on to the sea of glass mixed with fire that's also mentioned in Revelation 15 verses 1 and 2. 
we have at the conclusion of that seven planetary or seven angel alignment, the comet Anki or 2P Anki, and its next closest approach to the Earth occurs on September 24th, 2023. Some say September 23rd, which is exactly six years after the Revelation 12 sign. Although this is the closest approach date to the Earth, the planetary alignment with the uh, comet Anki at the end in the water sign of Aquarius being that of ice, a sea of glass, which John the Revelator saw mingle with fire. And this is a actual photo of that comet will occur on May 18th of 2024, 40 days after the second solar eclipse traverses across the United States, forming an X on April 8th of 2024. So as with the Revelation 12 sign, which woke up a lot of the body of Christ that occurred in September 23rd, 2017, provided a biblical time marker and warning the Revelation 15 sign does the same thing. It is a biblical time marker and warning of future events to come. So please share this video with others, although you may think it does not apply to you, and it may not. But many of us have, again, family members, friends, people that we know that aren't even aware of the times or even what's transpiring from the book of Revelation or events that are coming. You do not want them to take the mark of the beast nor go through the wrath of God. No one wishes that on their worst enemy. So please share this video out to others. Anyways, I hope that this video has been a blessing and will make others aware of this sign whether now, uh, between now and the future, I believe strongly we're down to the last seven years between 2023 and 2030 when a lot of events are about to kick off and occur. And this may be their last warning sign before the wrath of God, but they might have it as a forewarning and be aware of that as well. Just like we, Revelation 12 sign and other solar and lunar eclipses and the Tetrad blood moons. Anyways, please share this video if you feel that it is a blessing. The time is ever, ever so short, but more so than anything, you do not want anybody to take the mark of the beast and you want all to come to Christ and be saved. There are many videos out there that explain that way better than I do, but please get saved. Please be aware that the time is ever, ever so short. And again, please share this video out to those you feel who are in need of this. All right, I will conclude here and I will talk to you later. So take care.